Hello good people and welcome to Mac App Review number 3. Today we're looking at Drop Zone which comes to us from Aptomic Software. The guys over there were nice enough to send me over a promo code so I could um, review this app for them. And they also sent along 6 extra promo codes for a giveaway. So make sure you guys stay to the end of this video to uh, firstly find out if you guys like this app and want to be entered in this giveaway. And two, if you do want to be entered, how you can enter. So um, stay tuned for that and in the meantime I'll give you guys my review of Drop Zone. So the purpose behind Drop Zone is to make um, things on your Mac, or I guess make operations on your Mac a little bit easier. Some of the examples are uploading pictures to Flickr, opening up an application, putting your computer to sleep, sharing text, um, opening up a shell script in terminal, things like that. So it's very similar to Automator, only this is a lot more simpler to use in my opinion. And the one thing that I really like about this app is that I'm more than positive makes this stand out from any other app is where it sits on the dock. As you guys can see, it kind of sits um, towards the right of the dock, right next to the trash. Uh, my dock doesn't have it, but on your dock it probably does. There will be a separator in between um, your applications and the trash. Had my dock have, if my dock were to have the separator, it would be in between Drop Zone and uh, Echophone. Um, but I don't have that, so just be wary of where the positioning is. I kind of like that. I kind of like that it's um, off to the right hand side. I can switch over to the left if I want to, and that's in the preferences, which I'll go over later. Um, so if I click on Drop Zone, I get a couple options right here, and you guys will notice that this interface is very similar to Stacks. And the ones I have here are Share Text, Dropbox, Print, Zip Files, TwipPick, and Screensaver. And what those things do are pretty self explanatory. Um, so if I wanted to take this picture of me as a baby, I was a very cute baby, it's my personal opinion. Um, I can ho hover it over the Dropbox, the grid opens up, and, um, I'm sorry, drop zone, not Dropbox, and the grid opens up, and I can, if I want to, put it into Dropbox, so why don't I do that? It's now on my clipboard, so just to show you guys, right there, there's a URL if anyone wanted to see a picture of me as a baby, and I could tweet this out or whatever I wanted to do. So, and then that, that works for all of them, so pressing the screensaver will activate my screensaver if I were to drag a file or a picture over the print, it would print. Um, same thing with the zip and as well as TwitPick. Um, so let's look at the preferences for this app. Uh, you have to right click to get to the preferences. Um, so I have destinations. Destinations are just, I guess, the add-ons installed to this. Drop Zone comes very plain and there is not a lot, you know, pre-installed with it, but you can download um, extras or destinations from their site and other sites and I'll show you guys some of that and as well. I'll have links down below. So I could edit these if I wanted to. So let's say, for example, I wanted to um, edit the Dropbox one. I could click on Dropbox, go to Edit. I can change the destination name and then change the action. Um, and as well, and well, right here under Dropbox, he tells us where I put in my account. Um, I can also add my own. So if I were to press Add, I can type in a destination name and choose from one of these actions given to us. Or I can go to More Actions. Um, I'm not going to add one right now. Going over into the settings tab, this is some kind of cool. So I can change the grid size. So I can make it really small or really large. I kind of like it in the middle. Oh, I can play a sound or have an animation when the grid closes and opens. Um, right here, as I said, you can change the dock positioning. I can go from the left to the right. Um, and this right here is just a list of the installed applications, or I'm sorry, installed actions um, right here. You know, the destination, same thing. Um, so that's that, and I've shown you guys, um, I've talked a lot about, about these destinations, um, I'm going to show you guys where you can get them. On their site, aptonic.com slash extended.php, um, they have user contributed actions, so these are stuff that users have come up with, um, just going over some of them, uh, SCP uploads, so I can, you know, upload files to an SSH, SSH server, um, I can have it say a text, I can put computer to sleep, um, I can shorten a URL. Um, so there are other add-ons, and there's various you know outside sites that have um, these add add-ons, and I'll have um, links to them down below, as I said. Um, and that's pretty much the app. It's kind of simple, very easy, minimal user interface. Um, the app does cost you fourteen dollars. It's not in the Mac App Store, I don't believe, um, but that is pretty much it. Um, so overall, um, I give Drop Zone, you know. A pretty good re a pretty good rating um, for what it does. Um, I don't really need it that much because 
if I have Twitter open, I can just drag and drop a picture. Um, I have I have installed commands where I can just right click and do print. Um, I can, you know, you can use a hot corner for your screensaver. So for me, it's not necessarily the best app, um, but it may be for you guys. I don't know what your uses are. Maybe you guys need, you know, difficult tasks that take a long time to be done in a snap, and that's where Drop Zone can come in handy. Um, so that is my review. Um, I'm on to the giveaway now. This is what you guys are really interested in. Um, if you guys are interested in... Um, winning one of these, uh, a promo code for Drop Zone. Um, leave a comment down below. And the comment can be anything, nothing special. Um, just leave a comment, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, and I'll pick this in a week's time. Um, I'm not gonna make an announcement video. You'll just get an email from Aptomic saying, congratulations, here is your, you know, promo code, or, you know, whatever. Um, so I'll let this go for a week, so on, I'm probably going to upload this Wednesday night. So Wednesday, next week I believe is the 23rd, I will um, pick the winners. Um, that is my review of Drop Zone. I um, hope you guys enjoy this Mac app review. Um, I'd like to thank Aptomic once again for sending me out um, promo code to review. And I do sincerely apologize, I'm sure I said Dropbox instead of Drop Zone several times in this video. Just for us of habit, you know, I see the Dropbox icon, I'm talking about Drop Zone. They go hand in hand. Um, but anyway, guys, that's it. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Fisher12. And I'll see you guys in my next video, and take care.